This is my One Up Super Duty um, bike rack, which ha is an absolutely amazing bike rack. But as I'm sure you've researched or seen, or if you have one, you know, the one thing is that the release lever is kind of in an awkward place, especially if you have a couple of bikes on there or if you don't have the longest arms. So for me, I'm six foot three. It's not that big of a deal. But for my wife, who's much shorter than me, it's really tough for her to reach it. Um, so right away, I wanted to figure out something that I could do. Now, I've right away, the, you know, the, the basic thought, which I'm sure you've seen, is attaching a rope to the um, bar, which then comes through the holes, which you would mount like an extra rack on, or you can put a ramp or whatever. Um, and a couple things was the original rope I used was quite a bit smaller and it stretched quite a bit. And also these are threaded holes. So the rope within like 10 tries was fraying. So what these are is these are actually just 3D printed bolts that are the right thread and size. So these are actually just threaded in there so I could unthread these if I wanted to. Um, but the whole idea with this is that these are made of like a fairly soft plastic and they shouldn't. So I've tried this a ton and there's no fraying on this rope. So using like a plastic bolt of some sort that I drilled the holes through um, will help keep the rope in good shape for a lot longer. The other thing is, is I went and got some really good uh, pull cord rope. So this is rope that's used for like a pull cord for starting a gas motor, like a little generator or something. And the nice thing about these ropes is they're really strong and they don't stretch. So they don't have a lot of give or, or stretch to them when you go to use them. Um, so I just uh, three printed these, put those in just to let the rope last as long as possible. I got the pull cord rope and then I melted the ends after I cut them. And then instead of tying these, I just wrapped them twice around and then use these zap straps to kind of hold it. I might actually just add a third zap strap to give it a bit more grab. But um, so far, this has been working really well. This wrapped around twice just means there isn't too much pulling force on the zap straps here. And then if I want to put an add-on later or I want to take the rope off, it's really a matter of just cutting a couple of zap straps and then that's good to go. So a couple of zap straps there, um, holding the rope on so it's easily removable. I don't have to tie knots or anything. Pull cord rope and give it a good pull. So a lot of times, you know, if it's got pressure, you just gotta wiggle it a bit, give it a good pull, and then that's it. Okay, so I can give it a good pull and then lift it out of the way or kind of come all the way down like so. Sorry, I'm not I'm trying to do this while filming at the same time. Um, so it's obviously a lot better if you can use your one hand to kind of lift and the other hand to pull, but it does work. One big pull and there we go. So it seems to be working really well. Um, the cord is a nice thickness on the hand, so it's not um, digging into your hand too much. And if you want to, you could try to get a longer rope, but this seems to be doing the trick. Uh, cost almost nothing. Um, and if you don't have a 3D printer, you might be able to go to a bolt store and see if they have like plastic bolts that are similar thread or something like that. Um, anything just to make the rope last longer. So yeah, so hopefully this is helpful uh, and you can use this to um, get that little bit extra uh, saving on your back and pain um, without having to go and spend the money on the add-on.